Hey everybody, David Jackson coming to you from the Boone Area Chamber of Commerce here on Wednesday the 23rd of October. We're outside because it is gorgeous out here. Football stadium behind me where we're getting ready for some folks coming up this way and uh, certainly uh, not only football, we just heard today that the Blue Ridge Parkway has opened a 20 mile stretch from Bamboo Gap up to Beacon Heights. That means the Viaduct, Price Park, Bass Lake, Blowing Rock, all of those things that, that we know and love. Thunder Hill, we were up there a little bit earlier today. It was just fantastic. So some of these things coming back, that means some progress. But I also want to remind you that there's still a lot of work to be done here. Watauga County Schools are going back to school tomorrow for the first time since the storm. They are going with community bus stops because uh, they can't get buses down all of the roads yet. So just because some things are starting to turn back on, please understand that we've still got a lot of infrastructure work that's going on out in the county. So as you hear things this weekend, a lot more of that. Stay in Boone, stay in Blowing Rock, stay on the parkway, stick to the things that we know are, are improved to the point where they can take that visitor traffic or that extra traffic and know that as more time moves on, we're going to get uh, a, a lot further along. So um, one quick note for tonight. Remember, tonight's the uh, first night of the new curfew. That's 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. And remember, that's uh, operational staff. Uh, you can go to work. You can do all those things. But 12 a.m. to 6, that new curfew starts tonight. We'll go through the weekend. They'll reevaluate that on Monday. Um, quick note on uh, how people are doing here, because that question is being asked a lot. Visitors and, and folks are, are saying, hey, we're getting ready to come up. Well, just what's going on? So, so far, we're approaching the $6 million mark in FEMA individual assistance to Watauga County residents. That's just in Watauga County. And that's people that are dealing with issues at their home, their personal property loss, things along those lines. Those are not grants. That is money coming to Watauga County residents. So that's a positive development. That number is closing in on about $11 million for the three county region up here too. So that's important. That's helping people get back on their feet and get some of their individual needs assessed. You may have heard today, Governor Roy Cooper announced a, a potential budget or a potential idea for some hurricane relief for this part of North Carolina. It's a start in the process. So we're still going through all of the numbers and kind of reading through. We're gonna have a little bit more on that for you tomorrow, but understand that this is the start. There's a lot of business friendly things in there. Some of the things that we've been talking about, those uh, recovery grants, they're low interest loans, but they're kind of masking as some of those things that we saw back during COVID. It's kind of what we've been talking about, right? So if there are things in that that you like, uh, start to trumpet that, okay? Now, the General Assembly is back in session tomorrow. We're going to understand what the House and the Senate are able to do at this point and what they're able to quantify. So again, Governor Cooper's budget, the start of a process, but understand it's one that we've got to stay engaged in and we'll keep you up to date as best we can. Some people also starting to talk about business loss. You see downtown Boone behind me. It looks great right now. There's a lot of people that are milling around. Certainly having students back has been helpful with that, but you're still looking at businesses right now from our survey data showing anywhere between 30 and 60% loss for the month of October on average. And that number is way higher into the 80 and 90% for tourism dependent businesses. So if you are coming up here this weekend, whether it's for the football game, whether it's to come up on the parkway, um, understand that, that the businesses that are here are, are ready to welcome you, but they're also gonna have a really hard time recouping what would have been really four prime time weekends had things been a lot different. So when we talk about uh, how the business community is trying to fare, especially since there's no major aid yet, um, that's a big part of the reason. You are going to be a helpful part to that picture. We're, we're trying to keep people in jobs. Heard a lot more about furloughs and layoffs lately. And what we don't want to see is the people that have been scrapping and clawing so much to hang on to what they've got, then find out that that job's not there anymore. So please understand that, that you play a role this weekend if you're visiting the high country. And let's talk about that for a second. So a number of you tailgate, I love your tailgates. I used to do the football thing, right? You feed me well. I appreciate that. I'm going to take a pass on that this weekend, though, and I think a lot of other people are as well. For some of you that have got those established tailgates, I'm going to ask you as, as your former football friend, right, um, consider doing something a little different because that's exactly what we've been doing here for the last several weeks is a little something different. So back behind me is King Street. There are a lot of businesses there that would love to see you walk through the door. You're going to pass through Blowing Rock. You're going to pass through different parts of Boone in the high country community on your way into town or maybe on your way to the parkway consider stopping in those places. You can't, you can fall down and hit about 12 places to get a delicious breakfast in town on Saturday, right? So do that. 
find your way to Boone Bagel, or you find your way uh, to uh, to Troy's Diner or the the various biscuit places. We have numbers of them now. And uh, hey, Betty's will cook you up something good on Saturday. So maybe forego the early part of the tailgate. Come downtown, grab some breakfast. It's an excellent opportunity to do a little bit of shopping as well. You can drop stuff back off in your car, go to the game, cheer on a Mountaineer win. And then, hey, if you've got a place to stay, come back and do it again on Sunday. If you don't, eat some dinner, get that tank of gas, head out of town, and we'll see you next time, all right? Those dollars really matter right now. They matter a ton because, again, aid is not in abundance, and this is how businesses are going to try to survive this very important uh, time in our economy and, and hopefully be stronger the next time you come back up here. So uh, a couple of uh, food for thought uh, items. Again, this is not about just football traffic. All of you coming up on the parkway is too, uh, or a parkway too. Think about all those places that are in Blowing Rock. You're going to drive right past there. So take some food up to the Cone Manor, have a great picnic. The weather ought to be perfect for that. Um, but also be mindful. There are people that you're going to encounter here that are still trying to put pieces back together, trying to get their lives started back again. They've lost a lot, right? They may be the very people that you're encountering when you get to the restaurant or you get to the store. Just be patient and be mindful and thank them. And be ready for gratitude too. This is gonna be really one of the first big weekends that we've got the opportunity to hug you and say thanks. Uh, so much of what we experienced here in the first few weeks after the storm came because of people not here. And this might be your first time here and don't think for a second that favorite business that you're gonna seek out isn't gonna find a way to, to thank you for what you did. So be ready for that hug. Um, it's it's going to be an emotional weekend uh, in a lot of ways, but I think uh, it's going to be the weekend that we've been waiting for. A little bit of community healing, right? Um, all of these things, the parkway, football, uh, being on King Street on a Saturday in the fall. That's what we do. That's what we live for up here, right? That, that's part of our community. And you can be a healing part of the community. We're asking you to continue to be mindful of what we're going through and know that, that you can play an important part in all of this. So uh, one last thing we got, you know, we're, we're going to try to help some of you that, that maybe are so tailgate dependent, you forgot how to not tailgate. So our staff today in about 20 minutes, put together a great list of some of our favorites, our, our suggestions. If you're looking for a breakfast place, if you're looking for somewhere to go after the game, maybe grab some bites before you head to the game or to the parkway. Um, we got you covered. So check out our list. It's going to drop uh, a little bit later this week. And, and that will guide you. A lot of great local businesses on there, near and far, right? This isn't necessarily just a King Street thing, y'all. The, the whole community needs you. So find your ways to hopscotch around to the places inside Boone and Blowing Rock uh, that are ready for you and, and you can help us, okay? So um, yeah, that's it from the chamber today. This is a, a beautiful day. We're gonna kind of try to park it early. I uh, know that we got a lot of reading to do tonight on this uh, this bill that the governor proposed on the budget for, for hurricane relief. It's just the start of the process. We'll fill you in more on that tomorrow. If you are interested in helping us help our local businesses, check out the Boone uh, Chamber.com slash foundation website. We've got a hurricane uh, disaster relief grant program all listed on there for you. We're going to start talking about those grants uh, tomorrow. We've had about 70 submissions thus far. So the need is great. And we know we're going to get more before we really start to make those decisions too. So keep them coming. Keep uh, at it. We're, we're, we're getting closer every day is an opportunity for us to take a step forward. And we know we've got an opportunity to do that this weekend if we can all continue to work together. Good night, everybody.